This guy's chilling like the AC is gonna do itself. Hello. What's up? Is the AC gonna do itself mode? <laughs> you watching motivational stuff? <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to do it. Is that even motivate you to do that? Maybe. Oh, get up. <laughs> get up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is one of those days that I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to. I mean, I'm all for putting mods on the E91M3. That's the fun stuff. But when you're telling me I gotta put in an AC compressor, it's drain, a necessity. drain the coolant, <laughs> re freaking flush the coolant system, and I have to freaking vacuum out the AC system, and you know what I'm saying? Are you like, complaining? I mean, are you complaining that I have to do this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you don't get to do that. <laughs> you chose this life. <laughs> it's one of those days guys it's one of those days and there's a saying that i used to, i used to go by it i need to go by i need to get back to living by this yeah. and the saying is if you don't got money you got time you understand mm -hmm. if i had the money just pay someone to do this i'll be big time chilling but because i don't <laughs> have to get into this thing <laughs> so without further ado guys that's to, that's what i'm actually going to go ahead and start off first i want to drive the e91 m3 i want to enjoy the e91 m3 but we have to install this first because mine decided to take a poop. And I think it's because we installed an AC compressor without vacuum out the system. So now we actually have a vacuuming system. We're gonna go ahead and install a new AC compressor, vacuum out the entire system, get a can, and hope to God that fixes our AC issue. Because you guys know, this is a completely custom car. I did everything on this car completely custom. The last thing I wanna do is slap in this new AC compressor and that doesn't fix my issue. That's why also I'm very unmotivated to do it because what if, it doesn't fix my issue, and I'll just be really upset because I just went through a buttload of work. You better believe in your skills. You got what it takes, right? Yeah, I need some motivational stuff right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, anyways, guys, I'm gonna put y'all on time lapse. I need, to, I need to listen. I'm about to put some motivational videos, you know, stuff going on in my ears. Put some AirPods and some speakers what going. What are you doing here then? I don't know, baby. You're depressing. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll have to figure that out, but let's just get this AC compressor out because. It just needs to come out. Water ready. Country music playing. <laughs> Let's get to it. Alright, some good news guys, um, I, I've taken it apart. So that means there's no going back. This is the new AC compressor, not the old one. We still don't have the old one out, but we got everything else out of the way. Um, I couldn't get that lower radiator hose out, so honestly, it was actually really easy to get this radiator out. M3s, there's not too many things on here just because it's not a turbo car. So it's literally just the upper radiator, lower radiator, and two screws. So I just decided to take out the two screws, upper radiator, that, I didn't want to break it, so I just disconnected it from the top, made it super easy to slide out. And then now, come around over here, we pretty much have a lot more space to work. So we do need to uh, take off this AC line. There's another AC line on the AC compressor, which is right down there. Super tight fit, but I still think we can get it out without having to drop the subframe. Um, the belt also needs to come off because that's on the AC compressor. So I think the tensioner is down here. So I gotta pop that off. And then it's, it's time, it's time to actually start taking apart everything. So the good news is I've already taken out the AC out of this car. We already siphoned it using a proper AC machine before. Um, so there's literally no AC in this system. So I'm just gonna be able to unplug the AC lines um, and uh, that, like I said, take off the belt and just swap everything out and then completely suck out all the air out of the AC system again using my AC machine. And then we should be able to actually recharge it. And hopefully, hopefully that is our problem. Because if that's our problem, that's all gravy in the Navy. If that's not our problem, And after finicking for a good, I'd say two hours minimum, we have the AC compressor out. This thing, I can't really tell if there's anything wrong with it. Good news is it's out, so <laughs> let's just go ahead and start throwing in the new bad boy. New to me, still used. Hopefully, 
I base, I'm hoping I mess this one up by basically not decompressurizing the system, not like pretty much pulling all the AC from it before recharging it. I'm hoping that was the issue with it and I'm hoping that will last a whole lot longer. The job doesn't, the job's not impossible. This is all you pretty much have to remove. It's just not fun. That bolt especially, I had to get it from the bottom of the car. So again, not fun, but definitely, definitely still possible. So without further ado, start transferring these two bolts over and just get this new AC compressor in there because I want to be able to drive this car, but I am not driving it with no AC. You guys can see pretty much how long I postponed this. I po I basically postponed it the entire summer. It's almost winter. <laughs> oh man. And with the power of editing, guys, I finally have the full engine bay back together with the brand new AC compressor fully hooked up. So now that everything's pretty much hooked up, we do need to pretty much bleed the coolant system. We actually have to add coolant as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. So when we're actually running the car to put in AC, um, the car won't overheat and has coolant. So let's go ahead and do that first. And then uh, pretty much I'll head out, get an AC can, let the car kind of cool down, and then I'll come back and then we'll top off the AC and then, I mean, not top it off, we'll completely refill it. Hopefully, hopefully, guys, it will take in the AC. Basically, my issue that I was having just in case you guys have a similar issue with your own car basically the, the car had no AC in the car it had zero AC in the car and as soon as I put a can in there and I tried to refill the AC it says max like automatically max and it pretty much would just overpressurize. so basically my assumption is that the AC compressor is not sucking in the AC that I'm putting in and recircling it through the system so that is my logic that's kind of my approach at this so I'm really hoping that was the issue um, if not I mean we kind of tackled one of the biggest things um, the next thing would be probably an AC line or um, I don't know a module or something so I'm pretty sure we knocked that I'm like 95% sure we knocked it out so anyways let's go ahead put in some AC get this bad boy running and driving again and then we can sort out that AC stuff So now the cooling system is ready to go and the AC is fully extracted. Let's go ahead and get this can and hopefully, guys, hopefully, my E91 M3 will finally be drivable because I cannot drive it without AC. Honestly, it's like a bare necessity. I don't remember when I fully assembled the entire car if the AC ever worked. I feel like it should have at one point just because I feel like I would have known at, because the day that I went in the car and the AC didn't work, I was surprised. So because I was surprised, I feel like it did work before, but that, again, I don't know 100% for sure if it worked or not. So I'm really hoping it's just something as simple as an AC compressor. So, all right guys, let's do this. So you guys saw that unfortunately after all this work and after literally convincing myself that today's the day to get the AC compressor done on this car so I can finally drive my E91 M3. Unfortunately, it's not the AC compressor. So the only good news from this is that now my AC compressor, uh, the one that I just pulled out, it's probably still good, probably still worth something. Eh, make an extra 80, 90 bucks now, make my money back off my AC compressor I just purchased. So I guess that's the good news. The good news also is that I didn't pay anyone to install the AC compressor. That would have also set me back some more, at least like three to 500 bucks. Um, so now I'm at that situation where I don't know what's going on. I, I, I have no idea. The only things I can really tell when it comes to an AC system is actually if one of my lines are leaking, so I have like a messed up line, I can usually diagnose that and actually find that and replace the line, no big deal, or if it's the AC compressor. But now that the AC compressor is there, there's no leaks, I don't know what it is. If any of you guys have any idea what it is exactly, the car is not throwing any codes either. Um, it'll be an absolute great help. Basically, again, when I put in the gauge, it just says full red. So I don't want to put in any more. I don't know if I keep putting it in. Maybe it'll just kind of pass the red and go back to green. Who knows? But I don't want to risk it. I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to 
leave it with no AC for now again. Figure this out later, I guess. So I don't want to end it off on a bad note, so I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow with hopefully some good news. And guys, different day, uh, same car, same issue. So what I went ahead and actually worked on earlier today, just kind of give you guys an update, um, is that I actually checked the fuses, not only for the AC system, but I also checked the fuses uh, for the fan itself. Now, I think there's also a relay. I didn't actually check where the relay was just because I couldn't really find it. So maybe this car doesn't have a relay, but if any of you guys know if it does or not for the AC system, actually specifically the AC clutch, let me know because I think someone said something along the lines for that. Um, but anyways, we checked that. Uh, I pretty much topped it off with more AC. I checked if the AC uh, components inside the car, which is the climate control switch and the, the rear trim air vent thing, if they are connected um, online, they are saying that potentially if those are unplugged, it could pretty much you know set the computers to the point to where it's like, hey, I don't want to turn on the AC system or some kind of weird stuff with BMW stuff. Long story short, the issue has not been solved. So, I have this guy chilling like a villain. The guy that's been gone for about six and a half years. He just showed up. <laughs> he's a little dusty. <laughs> but uh, he's gonna go ahead and actually tackle something that I don't really think any other mechanic shop around me can tackle. So I'm at that point to where I'm kind of looking at this car and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and probably take it out to a shop, pay diagnostic fee, probably the biggest shop that I know in NorCal. If I was in SoCal, it'd be a little bit different because I got my boys at SSR, you know, already know. But I'm not that far and I'm not gonna drive it eight hours right now for just an AC issue. So that being said, I don't really know if the shops around I'm gonna be able to actually figure out the issue with this car. I feel like I'm just gonna keep throwing money at it and money at it and money at it like I've done before with those shops. So I'm gonna give my boy Erlan a challenge and that's uh, a challenge that I, I really hope he can figure out, bro. And if he can figure this out, he's figured out my last AC issue where I replaced also the, watch, well, he replaced, I, I paid you to replace the AC compressor. Turned out that wasn't the issue. Same thing I did with this car. And uh, you ended up finding out like a wiring issue or something, right? It's like the rear temperature sensor in the rear. It has like a temperature sensor. And just that being unplugged caused the AC not to turn on at all. Which is like, again, I don't understand BMW's logic sometimes, but I guess, and they didn't throw a code either that time, no right? And there's no code this time. So what Arlon's gonna go ahead and do is take this car home. He's gonna go ahead for my, for my sake, I hope for my sanity, he's gonna figure it out. And uh, this is definitely gonna be a challenge. It's an E91 M3, fully custom car. So the stuff that he's gonna be pretty much dealing with is kind of like from custom work. So it's gonna be, he needs to actually apply a lot of skills. Electronic and skills, right? Electronic skills, yeah. Because I'm telling you guys, there's no codes. <laughs> I can only work off of codes. So that being said. Because nobody nobody fixes, you can't be like, how do you fix the AC compressor in an E91 wagon? You, you literally, know, you literally, you were just like, you should probably take it to BMW. I'm like, you think BMW's gonna touch it? <laughs> no one's gonna touch this car. That's the super unfortunate thing. That's why I'm in a little bit of a little bit of a dilemma. And I don't want to end this video on a bad note. So we're gonna leave Erlan with this car, the keys to this car, and hopefully you can figure out what's going on with this car. And I keep you guys updated and informed. Hopefully in an upcoming video. For now, unfortunately, I was not able to figure it out, and uh, it kind of leaves me with no other choice. But I can't drive it. I really don't want to drive it with no AC. So again, for those of you guys who've been waiting on more modifications to happen. To this car it will it will near future just hoping to get something like ac working because it's a bare necessity so i'm gonna go ahead and take my keys give it to my boy please take care of my g all right, all right bro i appreciate you hopefully hopefully figure it out bro no pressure but if you can figure this out bro you're the best mechanic i know not even right. mechanic you're the best technician right okay, yeah best technician challenge, challenge bro challenge, man. challenge bro all right bro we'll see you hopefully in a little bit gotcha. take it easy psych i am back guys and uh long story short it's another day. It's another day with the M3 back in the shop. So basically, my boy Erlon took on the challenge and he ended up figuring it out and it was the stupidest thing in the world. The stupidest thing in the world, but I don't think anyone else, honestly, in a local mechanic shop would have figured this out because this is something that you really need to know a lot about BMWs to actually fully understand. Um, these kind of cars are very, 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 very picky when it comes to the AC system and a lot of other technologies and uh, computers on this thing. So just to kind of tell you guys what it is without dragging it out any further, um, it turned out to be the AC vent in the rear. So the AC vent for the, uh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. This AC vent right over here has a wire that goes pretty much right here and connects to that car. Basically, this section was fine. Where it plugged into the car, one of the wires got pinched and cut when I actually installed the center console. And for some reason, I'm assuming because maybe two wires were touching or one of them were cut, it wasn't sending a signal or some kind of weird thing. And maybe just the fact that it basically was cut, it kind of just shut down the AC system. Everything was looking to be working. I mean, again, the AC compressor, we tested it outside the car. Actually, Erlan tested it outside the car. He tested the clutch and the AC compressor. Everything was working fine on both AC compressors. So that kind of a uh, you know, long job, unfortunately, was unnecessary. But I mean, it's 
pretty much the first thing you want to knock out if you actually have AC issues. Um, we replaced the pressure sensor as well. We checked the fuses for the fan. We checked the fuses and the relays for everything over here. Um, and then in end of the day, he ended up finding out when he actually plugged in his scanner um, that the pressure sensor was getting zero pressure, even though there was pressure in the system. So basically, it was an electrical issue. Um, he pretty much chased all the wires based off a diagram he found on Google or online or some BMW stuff. I don't know. This dude's a genius. I don't know. He's really good when it comes to stuff like this. And he figured out every single wire that has to do with the wiring system, the wiring diagram of the AC system. And then I pretty much tested each wire um, from power from one end to another end to make sure that the power went through. And then he found one of the wires, the power wasn't going through. Um, and then he found out that it was cut after removing the center console and finding that. So shout out to him. If I would've took it to any other shop, I would've been dumping money and money and money. And uh, this guy hooked it up obviously. So again, shout out to Erlon. This dude, every time I give him a challenge for something that I can't figure out, he always ends up figuring it out. This dude needs to open up his own shop so he can help a lot of you guys as well. Let me know if he should down below. I want you guys to blow him up, motivate him, inspire him. I don't inspire him, but like really motivate him and tell him like, hey man, you need to get on it because he's really good when it comes to stuff like that. But anyways, it's gonna have to conclude this video. Finally, finally, guys, now we can go ahead and install the good stuff, which I'm very excited about. I really didn't want to install any of the nice seats in there and start sweating all up in it if the AC system's not working. So now that it is, we are graving the Navy and ready to move on. I actually have another set of mods coming in for the front end of this car, which is going to be pretty sick here in a little bit. A lot of things happening on the E91 M3. Cannot wait to make this thing an absolute beast. Before I actually conclude this video, I also have another like kind of like thing going on. Like I told you guys, something I've been working on for the past year now. It's not really like a big, big project. It's just more of the sense of like news. News that I've been working better part of a year. I've actually announced it on Instagram. So for those of you guys who follow me on Instagram, you guys will know what that is. So make sure you follow me down below. But I'm going to be announcing it here on this YouTube channel with a uh, kind of a cool reveal to it. Um, here in a little bit, so stay tuned. But yeah, guys, it's gonna have to conclude the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.